How's it going y'all? Rowdy Rouse back with another video. You know, I said I would have to get that Chasm figure, the Ben Riley figure, because I have basically every other suit that Ben has. So here we are with Chasm from Amazon. So of course the box is absolutely demolished, bent to heck, whatever, but the figure's all right. So it is what it is. We have him. Uh, so yeah, with all that being said, we will take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad boy open. Taking a look at the box, we have Marvel and Spider-Man at the top with the figure Marvel's Chasm, which is Ben Riley Marvel Legends series and a warped messed up box. On the back, Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Chasms, a render of the figure once again with all the legal stuff, and then I'll read the blurb for y'all. Marvel's Chasm, a near fatal battle between Peter Parker and his clone, Ben Riley leaves Ben rising from the quantum goo as the villainous Chasm. Yeah, kind of stupid how they're doing our boy Ben Riley, but with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. So the card is messed up. I'm not going to mess with formalities here because Amazon just sent me a totally messed up box. So we're just going to tear into it and then Chasm is going to come right on out of the cardboard. You know, when I was planning on getting this figure, I thought he was on the retro Spider-Man body, but he's not. He's on the Sunfire body mold, which We'll go over articulation later, but it only has an ab crunch and no upper barbell, no uh, drop down hips. So he's really disappointing is, is what I'm trying to say. I was hoping for, I mean, the paint is really nice. The lines are really clean. The suit looks cool, but we've got pinned arms on a really, really old body. And it's a brand new character that came out like within the last uh, two years, three years, or at least suit. And Hasbro just puts it on the oldest body possible. I was hoping for another uh, retro Ben, but here we have another Sunfire Spider-Man for whatever reason. Uh, at least we've got some cool colors in there. Teal's my favorite color. That's really cool to see in there. And the lines are clean, like I said. Uh, it's just uh, Hasbro just one step forward, one step back. Always, all the time. But yeah. Here's Chasm. Checking out Chasm's height. Sometimes I'm a lot off here because of the angle that I stand at. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. Chasm stands at just about six inches tall, which is about right for the rest of the Spider-Man figures that uh, we we're getting recently. So going over the articulation, starting at the head, we have the normal ball socket and peg that older Marvel Legends have. Shoulders go up 90 degrees, but you get nice butterfly joints. They work really well. Uh, bicep swivel, double elbows, which work very nicely. Uh, this is a loose piece right here. Uh, and then of course we have pegs on the wrist. Then we just get an ab crunch in the torso instead of uh, a ball peg and an ab crunch like the retro Spider-Man has. And uh, then we get this weird, stupid waist cut that doesn't really work and breaks up the aesthetic. Like that's so, so bad. Uh, legs come up this far, thigh cut, double knees. He can kick his own butt pretty easily. We get a boot cut at least, and he's got some rockers. So very outdated figure. Articulation's fine. It works, but it's missing a lot of things in the torso, especially. And yeah, just kind of disappointing all around. Going over the accessories, the only accessories that he come with, no alternate head or anything, are these two uh, magic whatever effect pieces. I don't know what Chasm's powers are. I don't know what he does but they just go around his wrists and uh, look like swirly energy goo stuff. I don't know. It's just, once again, just a lackluster figure. I'm kind of bummed I got him, but now I have all the Ben Riley suits, quote unquote. Um, so yeah, it, well, there's a couple Marvel Legends hasn't made, but uh, all the ones that they made, I have, so you can't call me not a Ben Riley fan. First, for scale and comparison, here is Chasm next to all the other Ben Riley suits that we have. I thought he was going to be on this buck, which is the retro buck, but here he is with Scarlet Spider and the Beyond Corporation suit, which is on the Renew Your Vows buck, which would have been even better. Um, and this suit is the one he wears directly before this one because I think he dies again. I, I don't remember correctly. Like I, I, That's probably what happened. Uh, it's been a while since I've read that line or that uh, storyline from the comics. But uh, he wears this suit, then he dies again, and then he wears this suit, and he's chasm, and he's all emo and edgy, but they're all around the same height. 
so I guess it works fine. For some Jada Toys comparison, here he is with Mega Man and Dracula. For some Lightning Collection comparison, here he is with two different versions of the Red Ranger. We've got Jason and Trini. For some G.I. Joe Classified series and some Action Force, here he is with Duke and Eclipse. Here he is with some Star Wars Black series with Mando, Grogu, and Bo-Katan Kreese. We've got Indiana Jones from SH Figure Arts and Adventure series. And then we've got a double dose of Harley next to Chasm with our SH Figure Arts on the left and our Mafex on the right. So with all of that being said, y'all, I will say that the Chasm figure is not really worth it to me, especially because I paid retail for him. I was hoping to get him for lower, but he hasn't really dropped in price in many places. But I'd say it's about par for the course for this character because I don't like what they did with Ben Riley with this suit or this character. Uh, same character, but you know what I mean. Um, so like I said, par for the course. I don't like the, the ver chasm uh, version of Ben Riley, and I don't really like this figure simply because they were lazy and used a lot of old stuff instead of doing what they should have done, which is put it on the Renew Your Vows book, like the um, Beyond suit, which is the suit that's supposed to be before this, and the Scarlet Spider, because it's just, it's not even on a regular Spider-Man body, it's on the Sunfire Mold, so it's kind of a letdown. But if this video wasn't a letdown, if you thought it was informative and you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button down below, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, pretty please, and also check out my Patreon where videos like this one will go up early, um, it's a dollar a month, so you get all that content before anyone else, and of course comment down below, let me know what you think of this figure, let me know if you think... Uh, what do you think about how Marvel has handled Ben Riley in the current and most recent years? How your day is going? All that good stuff. As always, I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.